Hey guys, welcome back. We are not on a quiet beach. We are uh, in the back of Patong, 15 minutes away from Kamala where we did the last video. We're on uh, Nanai Road, which is another sort of expat area and we'll show you all about that this week. So uh, something new and exciting. Heaps of, uh, there's a few Aussie guys that are living here uh, on their own. There's a uh, fair contingent of Italian and uh, German guys and heaps of continental sort of people living over this side. So I'll have a bit of a look at it and uh, we'll let you know. Hi guys, Simon and Alina again. Welcome back to Get A Life. We're uh, out the back of Patong. We're heading to uh, Nanai Road to show you what that looks like as a bit of an expat area. So uh, stick around and we'll uh, have a few decent adventures today. I'll hand over to Lena now and uh, we'll head up to Nanai Road. Okay, now while we're heading up to Nanai Road, um, I'll put the map up on the screen now and you can see that from Batong Beach and heading along Batong Beach there's four uh, sort of main roads so there's the closest one to the beach is Beach Road which heads uh, south towards the airport as a one way the next street across is the second street which heads north towards Carter Beach and uh, up to Caron the third street is the one that we're actually on now which is a main thoroughfare through uh, the back of the Tong and the fourth street that we're about to turn onto up at this roundabout is Nanai Road so this is the last one and this is sort of the, uh, where the residential area is behind the Tong and there's quite a fair few expats that live here and uh, yeah we'll show you why yeah that's alright to uh, Nanai Road here. There's not much happening at this end, but uh, the further in we get, you'll be able to see what's going on. So we're right on the edge of the, uh, the hill here, and uh, plenty of accommodation options for expats, long-term and short-term stays. A bit more older style accommodation here, better value. Lots of, uh, there's lots of single Australian guys living over here, Australians, Canadians, sort of uh, American expats, Brits as well. But in the heart of the area as we get up here, you can see on the hill there's lots of um, sort of uh, apartments and condos. Uh, lots of the area here is actually uh, Germans and Italians. And they've opened up Italian and German restaurants and uh, lots of French here as well. But yeah, rooms are pretty cheap. They do, uh, you can do like day stays and stuff like that, but they prefer doing month stays here. And if you can do three or six or even 12 months and pay in advance, there's some good deals to be had. So we're coming into the guts of it sort of now. Lots of these are uh, apartment places here. The accommodation like on the left and, uh, and the right there. It's uh, set up and done on Facebook groups. So you can have a look on Facebook and just Google Patong accommodation. Or on Facebook, have a look and search uh, Facebook for Patong accommodation you'll find plenty of options or you can just alternately if you want to come over and just have a look maybe you try before you buy if you want to looking at moving out to Thailand you're looking at Patong as somewhere where you want to live just come out rent a cheap motel uh, for a week or so and just have a walk around the streets there's signs everywhere uh, talking about rooms for rent and just with phone numbers or whatsapp contact numbers but yeah there's uh, plenty of accommodation options here there's an Australian lad that we've met who's uh, actually staying in a uh, two bedroom, two bathroom place. 
It's 15,000 baht a month, and I'll put up some figures about what that's worth. But he's paying 12 months at a time, so he just takes some of the wad of cash and away he goes. It's good. Met a uh, Canadian guy as well. We've been here for four days now, so I've been out and about and had a chat to a few people about what they like about it here and what they don't like. <coughs> Pardon me. So the Canadian lad, he, uh, he's doing a transition to retirement, and he's actually uh, coming out here for the Canadian winters. So he spends sort of three or four months of the year living over here and then goes and works oil and gas back in Canada. And this time he's spending 12 weeks in a, uh, in a cheap hotel. Oh, look out, doggies. Jesus. <laughs> Me. He's spending 12 weeks in a cheap hotel and it cost him... Uh, it was about... $1,600 Canadian for 12 weeks or something, it was ridiculous, so plenty of, uh, plenty of options around. Coming right into the harbour now, there's heaps of great restaurants, uh, Italian coffee set up, heaps of bars, heaps of massage places. There's a few people here who are couples like Lena and I, more a bit older, sort of Germans and French, we've met a, seen a couple of uh, groups like that of couples that we've met. The majority of the people though are uh, single expat guys, either sort of European, French, German, Italian or uh, Aussies, Canadians and Brits. And they've either got girlfriends over here or they're just coming over here to have a bit of fun. Fantastic bar down here on the right, the rock bar. The uh, owner there, Frank, he's looked after us while we've been here. He's been amazing, so big shout out to him. If you're ever down this way, make sure you pop in and have a couple of bevos with him. Heaps of little street store food places. It's just opening up at the moment. This place here on the left, you get in there early enough, the uh, staff chain over. Might end up doing some breakfast karaoke. Decent shopping, supermarket and stuff here, everything that you need here. And if you want to go to the beach, it's probably a 10 or 12 minute walk to the uh, main beach of Patong. You're far enough away from Bangalore that you don't have to deal with all that. But if you want to go down there, you can walk down there, no probs. Patong and Phuket is expensive for uh, Thailand, but if you're up here in these back streets, it's more of a local area and a local vibe. And if you eat where the locals eat, you'll generally have a uh, decent feed for not much cash. So Nanai Road, I think it's like 2.4 or 2.6 k's long from that map. We're coming to the end of it now. But yeah, there's still uh, accommodation options down the end here. There's some great restaurants as well. Lena uh, found a great little Danish place the other day and she went and had a bit of a morning tea while I was laid up with some cooked guts. I've actually been sick here for about 48 hours. We've only been here, we only had four days. We're actually leaving today. So we're trying to get out and do a bit of video because I've been laid up, like really sick. So, uh, Hasn't been pleasant, but I'm back in action now. I've had a couple of good nights. Well, first night, had a great night out with the lad Rick, another Australian who owns a bar here. He's a drag racing legend, so uh, we'll chat a little bit more about him later. Got some footage there last night. But yeah, there's a nice little uh, Danish restaurant down here that Lena popped in straight ahead called The Little Mermaid. 
So that's the end of Nano Road, but as you can see, all these little local food uh, vendors here, super cheap, and the locals are eating there, the food's great, don't be afraid of street carts. You generally won't get asked this or any sickness. I think mine was, might have been more alcohol induced than food induced, but we'll see. So yeah, that's a, um, that's a run up and down Nanai Road. We'll go back and uh, get ourselves set up to leave. We're going to drop the bike back. And hopefully you've got a bit of an understanding of what it's like over this side. Instead of just staying at Batong, like the people that come to Batong and go to the beach, staying at Hilton or whatever they're doing down on the beach or Double Tree, you know, probably don't get up to see this side of it. So if you're staying down there, come and have a look anyway, because it's pretty cool, man. Good local bars, nice local people, and not really a bad place to stay. I don't think it's Lena or I, I don't think it's going to be our cup of tea. We're more for uh, sort of the Kamala area where we were last time but uh no man it's a good option if you're single or if you want to try before you buy come out here and just stay for a couple of months or even a month and just see if you can actually move to thailand and you can do it pretty cheap up the back of uh, nanai road there rightio we'll sign off and we'll catch up with you shortly so we're just coming up to our accommodation up here just up the little side soy off Nanai Road. This is our place just to So there's a couple of people staying here doing some long-term rentals as a French couple and another couple that are here from Germany. They're doing a bit of renovation work we've got the bamboo ready to do some scaffold and a bit of roof repairs but nice little spot out of the way super quiet no 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 road noise <coughs> pardon me and yeah good value for long term and we're paying about 40 bucks a night there's the leaner up on the balcony Got a little pool over here. It's not really functioning properly at the moment. Water's a bit cloudy. I think the filtration's a bit cocked up, but yeah, it's all good. Here's our little bungalow. I'll show you the lay of the land. So each one of them is pretty well set up to do uh, living in for a while. So we've got sort of kitchen area, full size fridge, gas, pots and pans, plates and stuff. Unfortunately, they don't have a bloody microwave. So if you eat food from outside, you can't bring them back and heat it up, but probably buy a microwave for 50 bucks. Set yourself up. So yeah, do laundry service next door as well. The girls at reception but yeah 10 or 11 units here i think show you inside quickly it'll be a bit of a mess for packing up today to head off somewhere new and exciting full-size bathroom that rain shower is pretty good the joint's spotless like it's super super clean Room's nice enough, got a bit of a lounge, decent bed, AC, nice and quiet, little workstation over there. But yeah, this is what you can sort of get for 40 bucks if you don't want to stay in a fancy resort and if you just want to get away from, get away from the main drag and away from Patong Beach for a bit. Live a few streets back in the local area, fantastic value. It's been quiet up here, hasn't it, Puss? It's good. Oh, it's been great. <coughs> nice, no, good no little noise. Spot. No noise at all. Where do you go? Hi guys, I'm just uh, editing this Bangla footage. It's a bit of a disjointed video actually because I was sick for a couple of days. You saw how uh, rubbish the footage was from the beach in the first video. Kamala with a wobbly camera and all the rest of it, so 
I filmed the first series with my work uh, iPhone 13 which has got awesome uh, visualization and stability and all the rest of it never brought that just brought my crappy Samsung phone um, the footage is all wobbly and shaky and shit I did heaps of takes of riding around up and down Bangla up and down uh, Nanai Road and going around meeting people and that sort of thing and all the footage was crap so I ended up buying a, um, a GoPro so you'll notice the footage will be better and the, because I was sick for a couple of days it was just all over the shop so I've got a last little snippet here I just want to show you just appreciation for the Aussie lads that run the boozers there which is the reason we filmed up Nanai Road to start with so uh, I'll just put this little snippet in at the end just as a bit of a thanks for uh, Rick and um, and Frankie up at Rock Bar, so here it is. Rightio, so we're in Thailand with this Australian master of motorsport. Oh, mate, it's and you're showing world. me some hot shit. That's fucking cool. Yeah, there's a boss. That's amazing. Good dude, we've had a great time. Living it's been amazing. Life. So we just left Rick's, we're hanging, heading back up Nanai Road. Good night, man. Met Russell as well, another bloody old school top funny car or funny car driver, man. What a good bunch of dudes. Yeah, so if you uh, if you like your motorsport and you're here for a, a week or so. Get away from Bangla and get up and see these lads made up on Nanai Road. Rick's Bar is called the Landmark, right at the end of Soy Banzan. And he's a really good dude, so no, catch up. We'll just pull in uh, up here. I've had another guy uh, who's looked after Lena and I for like, the last 12 months up here at the Rock Bar and Restaurant. So we're at the Rock Bar, this is Frank's Bar, another awesome dude, there he's there, absolute legend, the Grand Little Booze Ring, Aussie lads, we're here today for a Cops of Booze fight, so you know when, what sort of time of year it was, but yeah it was awesome man, Frank's been great, make sure you pop up here if you're uh, over this way.